we're studying air pollution in the context of a large study called the Global Burden of Disease Study. One of the surprises to us is that air pollution is one of the leading risk factors for death and disease around the world. The estimates are five and a half million people every year are dying as a result of air pollution. So we have both outdoor air pollution, which is contributed by sources such as power plants, vehicle exhaust, land clearing for agriculture, and then also what we call household air pollution. And that is people using open fires or very inefficient stoves for cooking and heating. This is primarily a problem in rural areas of developing countries of the world. Of the five and a half million deaths that we estimate in 2013 that are caused by exposure to air pollution, around the world, three million of those deaths, so more than half are in China and India. One of the reasons that we're focused particularly on China and India is that the sources that contribute to air pollution are also major sources contributing to climate change. And by highlighting the health impacts of air pollution, we're hoping to catalyze a faster shift away from these dirtier sources to cleaner energy sources for these countries. So one of the unique things about air pollution is that you can't run, you can't hide from it. But we know that if you improve air quality, everybody benefits. So from a health perspective, reducing levels of air pollution is actually an incredibly efficient way to improve the health of the entire population.